done today uh, for this evening for Mr. Cat. Uh, I met Donnie uh, many years ago. And uh, in 1976, this guitar I'm, I'm, I'm playing, uh, Donnie wanted to buy a new hearing. And uh, he wanted to sell this guitar. And uh, he, this was the one he had played uh, uh, most of his life up to that point. And uh, he wanted to get him a new hearing, but he didn't want to get rid of it. And he was going around the festivals. He was kind of being a little uh, particular on who he wanted to sell it to. And uh, he told, uh, my dad told me, he found out Donnie wanted to sell it. And my dad told him, Donnie, uh, Melvin's needs a good guitar. And, uh, you know, I, I know that would be a good guitar for him, you know. And uh, Donnie said, oh, Pee Wee said, I, I'd, I'd love for Melvin to have this guitar. I need money. And, and he says, uh, we'll, but we'll work out something fair. And uh, I, I'd just be really glad to, to know that he'd be traveling around with him. I was about, I don't know how old it was, I guess about 15 or something like that. Uh, but, uh, you know, Donnie and I stayed friends to, for, for many years. We didn't see each other very often. But he'd call me sometimes and we'd visit. And when we did see each other, it was always, you know, just like family. You'd get right back to where he left off and hug and, and reminisce. We always had music and, uh, together. And, uh, but it, it, it was something, this guitar was something that always kind of bonded us. Yeah. You'd always say, how's my guitar? Uh, and uh, so it means a lot to me that I've hung on to all these years. I could have gotten another guitar. Uh, but this one's always just fine for me. And, and now it's a very special one. When Bill Monroe died, uh, my buddy Billy Smith was, uh, and his brother Terry was at his side the last couple of days before he passed. And uh, before he got too bad off. And Bill was uh, uh, kind of looking up, looking around. And uh, Billy knew, knew Bill very well. And he said, Bill? What are you looking at? What, what, are you, what are you seeing? And Bill said to Billy, he said, I see a ballad. And uh, Billy always remembered that. And uh, months after uh, Bill passed, Bill passed, he came to me and told me that story. We wrote this song together. And uh, I'd like to do it for Donnie's memory and uh, bless his soul. And it's a special thing that we paid a lot of tribute to him here tonight. And uh, boy, he's uh, really influenced a lot of people when you hear it in this music tonight. It's called Take It to the Valley. We appreciate you so much and I hope you have an opportunity to see it. This is Mr. Kent Blazy or Kent Blazy. <laughs> Kent, 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 Kent Blazy wrote uh, that Tomorrow Never Comes and I was talking about Mark Brooks back up back and I forgot. You know who Kent Coffey is and here he is. <laughs> She had to uh, leave the Mayo Clinic and fly down here to Springfield late last night, get hip replacement next week to be here just to be a part of this. So that's the part of it. My partner in crime, I wish we could have got a little few more songs and heard her beautiful voice some more. My buddy, my kind Miss Lisa Ray, right now.
Ele nasce. 